Hello viewers and welcome to my channel it's Leonard here from DigitalLearner.com and in this video tutorial I'm going to show you the best trading strategies that I use for um, you know making profit with the Royal Q trading bot and I believe when you implement this you will equally be making uh, a whole lot from using these strategies so basically once you activate your app please note this for those of you who are having difficulties in activating this app you will need a hundred usdt to be able to activate this app to use it for one one year actually you need a hundred usdt to activate this app to be able to use it for one year so in order to do that you deposit money into the app by going to where it says asset you click on asset here so once you click on asset you click on deposit and whatever money you deposit will be reflecting here and after that you click on activate and after you have activated your app the next thing is to set up the coins that you want to be trading the pairs of coin you want to be trading and to do this what i do is that you don't just come in here for instance if i click on the quantitative here you don't just come in here and start trading any pair of coin because you have access to pairs of coins a lot of pairs of coins that you can trade here so what I do is I'll go to my browser and go to Coin Market Cap. So when I go to my browser and go to Coin Market Cap, the first thing I want to do here is to this is where the list of all the cryptocurrencies you see in the market are listed. So what I want to do here is right here I will I come in here to let me pull out this drawing icon here so i'll come in here to where it says 24 hours here this is the difference in 24 hours in percentage so when i go in there and click on it when i click on it first what you will see are top gainers so here is showing us top gainers in in the market those that are doing very well and KuCoin token is doing very well now for those of you who don't know KuCoin is an exchange just like binance and just like Binance started, Binance coin is now 330 something USDT. As at last year at a point, Binance coin was less than $14 or $14, just like KuCoin is currently, um, the, the KuCoin token is currently is now. So what you want to do is, this is what you are looking at. Anyway, this is just about trading with the Royal Q, but if you want to, you can go and acquire this coin. And this coin could make you a lot of money, let's say in a year to come, once it finally increases. So when you come in here, after you click on the 24 hours here, you see the top gainers in the last 24 hours, KuCoin uh, token has increased by 25%. It was actually 30% sometime this morning before it started reducing down to this amount. And then for this harmony, you see that it has increased by 16%. And all of these coins are the coins that are doing very well in the market. We don't want to trade any of these. So if I click on the 24 hours again, this is the ones the ones we want to trade are the losers the top losers in the markets are the ones we want to trade right now so the zinfine coin is minus 13 percent we have compound coin minus um nine percent and then we have the these other coins these are all the coins that are doing not doing very well right like the top losers in the market they are not doing very well so what we want to do is to check this coin if they are traded on binance now because we bind this this app to binance which you can do you can actually bind these two coin to the two exchanges that are listed if i go up here where it says api binding here so if i click on it you'll see these are the two exchanges that this coin work with you can bind it to your binance you can bind it to this exchange and it can be trading with these two platforms at the same time so there is a video tutorial on how to bind that um, separately so once you bind this you will now come back here to coin market cap and check if this coin is traded in either binance or the Huobi coin for instance this one that is minus 13 uh, percent that is not doing very well if i click on it and then i scroll down here and click on market down here so once i click on market these are the exchanges where you can trade this coin you can trade it on kucoin briefings these are the exchanges right now none of those two coin those two exchanges are listed on Roya you that can trade this you cannot trade it on binance neither will you trade it on the other exchange so it means that we cannot trade this but if you want to manually do this you can go create an account with kucoin and trade this link to sign up for kucoin exchange will be in the video description so you can trade this on kucoin and buy a whole lot of this right now the coin is less than 
um, a, a cent or thereabout, and then when it, it increases, you can be making money from this particular coin as well. So since this is not traded on Binance, what we need to do now is to go back and look for a coin that is traded on our own exchange. So I'll go back to the home page again, click on the 24 hours to see. Once you click it the first time, it gives you the top gainers. Once you click it the second time again, it gives you the top losers in the market. So this particular coin cannot be traded, but compound I know can be traded because I've seen it there. I think I'm running this trade already. Um, this particular one can be traded and is minus 8%. So in order to know any coin that will be traded on your exchange, all you just need to do once you come in here, you click on the coin, you scroll down, go to market, and then you will see the exchange. But compound can be traded. So if I come back to the royal queue and then go to the quantitative and click on compound here, let's say we search for compound. You can see I'm trading this already. I just entered this trade. So right now that is not doing very well. I've set up this trade to trade it. So once you see a coin that you can trade and you come in here and search for the coin and you can see the coin, um, let's go down, go down, go down. These ones that are not doing very well, you see all of this one, like this one that is ICP is minus 1.8%. So if I click on it, the next thing I want to do to start this trade is I'll go down to trade setting here where it says trade setting. You go down to trade setting and click on it. And this is where the settings of all of your trading. The same thing I'm going to show you here is the same thing you do for any other pair of coin that you want to trade in the market. First, we have the price here. This is what you want to buy first in amount. First in amount it means for the first buy, every buy that this trade carries, and you want it to be 10 USDT. So it means that if it is 10 USDT, this the margin call limit is going to be seven times. So it is going to be carrying out, carrying out this for you. Um, and when the price increases by 1%, because immediately you set up this, it will actually buy immediately. And when the price increases by 1.3%, you go ahead and take profit. It means it's taking profit of 1.3% of 10 USDT. So if you want to make more money with this, it means that you will need to change this 10 USDT to 1,000 USDT, um, 2,000 USDT, whatever you want, you can change this to that. So what it, 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 that means is that you'll be making profit of, whenever it takes profit, is that you're taking profit of 1.3% of 1,000 USDT or 100 USDT based on what you have here. But whatever you have here should be according to the amount you have on your account. Before you can change it to 1,000 or 500 or 100, it means you should be having up to 5,000 or 10,000 or thousand dollars in your account to be able to change this but if you are just trading with 100 200 300 dollars just leave it as the default which is 10 usdt and you'll be taking profit of 1.3 percent of this particular 10 usdt so when it sells at 1.3 percent there is this one that is called buy-in callback when the price drops by 0.5 percent it will buy again and then wait for it to increase by 1.3 percent and sell again when it draws by 0.5%, it buys. When it increases by 1.3%, it sells. So that is what this um, board does for you because it is spot trading and that is just the principle behind spot trading. You are buying low and you are selling high. So once you finish the setup here, um, norm normally my margin call, I normally leave it at between four and five. So if I say five, once you finish this trade setup, you go ahead at the top right hand side here, Go ahead and click on confirm and once you click on confirm once you click on confirm you will now come down here and say start trade and the trade will be started for you and that will be here so basically that is what i do i come in here to the coin market cap look at the top losers in the market and if it is traded on the huobi exchange or the um, uh, binance I'll go ahead and then start taking that trade. So once you do this, automatically everything is taken care of. The trade will be carried out automatically for you to be buying and selling.